Welcome back to Squawk Box. TSA data from over the weekend showing that airline passenger levels remain below 2019, but they're still up more than 100% from last year. However, enforcing federal mask mandates remains a dangerous job for airline workers, leading to physical and verbal disputes. In July, the FAA said 75% of incidents this year were tied to the mask mandate. The Biden administration now says it will double minimum fines for those who refuse to comply. Joining us right now is Sarah Nelson, international president of the Association of Flight Attendants, representing nearly 50,000 flight attendants at 20 airlines. It's great to see you this morning. Uh, but boy, has your job gotten tough, Sarah, uh, and those of your members who are now effectively being asked to police the skies in ways that they never were before. What's, well, what, what, what's the view about how this uh, should work going forward? Well, flight attendants have been enforcing safety regulations and compliance with those rela regulations uh, for the entirety of our careers. And it just so happens that the mass compliance is one more item that we've had to enforce on board. It was really helpful to have the president speak out last week about the increasing of the fines coming directly from the president. But the increasing of those fines is also about doing that in airports. We took a survey of our members and they found that over half of the incidents on board, there was some signal that there may be a problem in the boarding area or even during the boarding process. And the best way to keep these problems from happening in the air is to keep them on the ground. So if we have more people understanding in the airports, if we're connecting airports and airlines, TSA, and everyone together doing our jobs to try to keep these issues on the ground, the president did a really good job of signaling that to everyone in aviation, that we've got to all do this together, and then signaling to the public that they're taking this very seriously. And I'll tell you, Andrew, you talked about demand being up. That is directly in line with more people getting vaccinated, which shows that people are willing to travel when they feel safe. Right. This is a small number of people acting out, and the mask policies are also about helping people understand that air travel can be safe if everyone follows the rules. But I have to imagine that there have to be members of yours that are calling you up and others saying, look, this job is changing. This job is becoming a lot more complicated than it was 12 months ago. Oh, Andrew, they're, they're having a very difficult time. And I'll, I'll tell you something else. We thought that we were on a path to getting through this pandemic and being in a place of recovery this fall. And we were very hopeful, actually, that the mask mandate could end this fall because as passengers are wearing these masks on a couple hour flights, flight attendants are wearing these masks on 14, 15 hour duty days. We're tired of it. We're tired of enforcing it. And not only that, we're concerned every single day when we go to work and we put that uniform on, are we the target and going to be punched in the face today? So yes, they're saying this has got to stop. We can't continue to have this be the conditions in our right. job. And it's making it very, very difficult. And we need all the help that we can get to get it tamped down, get it under control, and get it back to a place that we're used to. So Sarah, I've got a tougher question for you. Um, OK. And, and, and you know where I stand on this. I've always thought that one way that you could get to a better place where maybe you wouldn't have everybody wearing masks is if we get to the country to be more to be more vaccinated than it is. One way to do that would be to require vaccination to get on an airplane, even though today you'd have to be not only probably vaccinated, but also wearing a mask until we can hopefully get to the other side of this. But that would be one way to get there. Do you believe that your members would advocate for that? You know, Andrew, it's not a tough question for me at all. Uh, in fact, we have heard overwhelmingly from flight attendants that they support mask, uh, I'm sorry, vaccination mandates, um, because we know that the only way to end this pandemic is for everyone to be vaccinated. So it's not the role of the union to put in place those mandates, but it, we also know that the courts have said and the EEOC has said that companies have the right to put in place these mandates. And as long as the companies are negotiating with us about how the implementation will work, we can do this in a way that's fair and transparent and works for everyone and does take into consideration the small number of issues where there needs to be an exception. But yes, everyone has got to be vaccinated. And that's the only way that we're going to end this pandemic. That's the only way we're going to get back to the freedoms that we enjoyed before it started. And it's got to happen. Hey, Sarah, I heard that uh, Southwest Airlines is extending the time period that it is not going to be serving alcohol on flights. They've got it going through January of next year, along with the mask mandates. I, I think they think that 
alcohol really exacerbates uh, any of the potential air rage situations. I mean, how do you feel as somebody who's actually up in the air being forced to be a bouncer? Is alcohol part of the well, problem? Uh, yeah, alcohol is definitely part of the problem. Uh, the survey shows that uh, close to 60% of the incidents were alcohol related, and we don't need anything adding to these incidents right now. So the policies on American Airlines and Southwest Airlines are uh, matching what we have been called for, calling for. But it's got to also match what the airports are doing. So Ad FAA Administrator Steve Dixon asked all the airports to make sure that they are ending the policies of to-go alcohol, that they're putting signage up to uh, alert passengers that if you're inebriated, you're going to be refused boarding, and uh, that you cannot be bringing your own alcohol to drink in the airport or on the planes. You have to be served People by someone that? who is working there. Uh, they, they do. <laughs> and we have to remind them that that is not the policy. You know, we've got basically first-time flyers here of everyone coming to the airport right now, Becky, and we've got to reiterate what the rules are and what the rules have been for decades. Sarah, uh, we're going to leave the conversation there. We appreciate it very, very much. It's a, uh, a fascinating situation uh, to see where we are, and hopefully things are going to get better. I'm, hope I'm hoping soon. Soon. You know, so Andrew, you. I appreciate your concern and thank you so much for bringing up this issue and, and all the time that you've given flight attendants over the past year. Really appreciate it. You bet. Thanks so much. Talk to you.